right, what's going on, guys? Travel suppressed, it's your boy. All right, so check this out. Today I'm in another city, another country, Peru. And so today I'm visiting uh, Cusco. So you can see a little bit of Cusco behind me, just a little bit, how the, uh, it's almost like favela style, but uh, not really a favela, but um, they go all up in the mountains right there. So I actually just touched down today. Uh, so I'm staying at the uh, Hilton Garden Inn. I'm definitely gonna give you guys a tour of the property because it's an amazing property. I'm glad I chose it. Um, apparently, it's very, very centrally like located to all of the uh, points of interest, or at least most of the points of interest. So we're actually going to be waiting on a, a walking tour as well today. So we got a lot of stuff planned for while I'm in Peru for the next week and a half. Uh, I got my boy, Brian the Bitter Beast, behind the camera. Uh, I know last time, if you guys been watching my Mexico videos, my wife was doing all the video shoot, but she couldn't make this particular trip. But shout out to my wife and uh, shout out to Brian for coming on the trip and uh, supporting me. You know what I'm saying? Because this is like, I don't know, but the umpteen uh, countries that we've been to. So he's definitely a traveler. Uh, he's getting into the social media game. So shout out to him. Uh, he's more or less the traveler uh, lifestyle type of deal. So he's going to be doing a lot of uh, motivational things uh, to, to get just pretty much get you guys through your week, your day, um, things of that nature. So I'm actually gonna try to start piggybacking on some of the stuff he does because literally um, some of the things that he does and represents that I wanna give to you guys as well. Uh, so make sure that you follow him. I'm gonna tag him in the, uh, this actual video. All right. Good morning guys, Travels of Preston, it's your boy Preston. And today we got another day of um, adventures in Cusco. So yesterday we actually did a walking tour. Uh, it was just too chaotic um, to try to film and get B-roll and things of that nature for all my YouTubers out there. So today we're actually gonna do our own little tour and try to mimic exactly what we did yesterday, um, walking around with the tour guide, which was an excellent tour guide. I'll try to have the uh, description in the uh, below. So I might be a little out of breath right now because uh, like I said, Cusco is a monster, all right? That's the first thing I wanna say. So be prepared for that, that this city is literally about 11,000 plus feet in, um, in the air. So that's roughly, I think 33,000 meters or whatever. So it's a monster, man. Like it's tough to breathe. Like I said, I got my man Brian the Bearded Beast behind the camera. Even he's having issues and he's fit to fight. Uh, I used to be fit to fight, but them days are long gone. So now I just kind of look for food. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, so we're on this little side street about two minutes from the actual hotel. Um, so it's like this long stairway of, of a street. Like I guess it's, I think it's a one-way street uh, going down. And the, I just see traffic right now coming down. So uh, it's coming down. Got a couple of different shops. And we're actually going to follow the path that the same vehicle, that all the vehicles are uh, taking. Uh, straight down here. So today we're going to start our uh, our journey in um, going towards the city. Oh, the city center. Okay. So she said it's about uh, it's about 12 minute walk. So we're going down here and we're going to walk. So we're definitely not going to walk back. And in just in case, to give you guys a heads up, I did buy a canister of air. It was about 48 soles. I'm not sure what that is converted, but I definitely. We'll have that on the uh, description uh, as a pop-up. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, this is Cusco. Um, beautiful, beautiful. So let's go and take this journey down this, all these steps.
All right, guys, so we just came down uh, all those steps and we made our way to the first plaza. I believe this is Plaza San Francisco. Uh, I know that's the church, uh, the cathedral, uh, so Plaza uh, San Francisco. And like I said, all this will be in the description uh, as I'm talking. But as you can see, it's a nice little park, a nice little square. Um, it's not the best they have to offer right now. But as you can see, they have a nice little statue. Uh, then we have the, like I said, the church. And if we pan around this way a little bit, um, they have a little water fountain. So they have, a, um, like I said, a water fountain on this side. Um, and I, they have a, a little marker right here, which looks like it says La Plaza something. I, hey, you know my Spanish is off, so please don't at me. But like I said, I will correct all the deficiencies. And the one thing I do notice, they have a, a plethora of dogs. Um, there's a ton of dogs out here, and literally, they go everywhere. Like, I just seen a dog poop a couple minutes ago. Like, so watch your step. Uh, also, one of the uh, tidbits, uh, one of the tips I want to make sure you guys know that you have to be double masked, all right? So you have to be double masked um, or unless you have an actual N95 mask. If you have N95, you can rock with that. But if you don't, then you normally you would have to have some type of surgical mask and that could be worn on top of your uh, cloth mask, okay? So as you can see, it's a little dog. I don't know where they get all these damn dogs from, but they out here. So like I said, we're going to keep pushing, uh, keep walking through, making our way. Uh, so actually, we didn't even come on this side during our walking tour. That's why I'm unfamiliar with this side. Um, but like I said, I definitely would do my due diligence to make sure I give you guys the proper um, you know, knowledge, some values, to make sure you guys are, you know, in the future when you guys come here, you'll know where you're at, okay? So let's keep moving. Right, guys so we reached another plaza it's plenty no oh, it's so many plazas in Cusco that's not even funny and like I said since I don't speak Spanish I apologize in advance for butchering some of these names but right now we're in uh, Plaza Ta Comandante La De Solo Espinar I know I butchered that my apologies but uh, right behind me is a uh, another church um, I can't remember what the, what you see, they call the church name La <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on that one. But, as you can see, it's a very beautiful, very beautiful church. Um, so I had to actually Google the name, but um, it's just, like I said, man, just while, this, is, this is the reason why I travel to see so many different churches cathedral cities the culture eat the food you know talk to the people uh, obviously some people get a little little uh aggressive and they don't, they don't take no for an answer too often but yeah but like i said man this is just beautiful right so we're gonna keep going through um we got another couple of squares that we want to hit this is not even the main square like even um early in the video that wasn't even the main square so we haven't got to the main square but i promise you you're gonna love the main square all right guys let's keep going
All right, guys, so we just made our way to the main plaza of Cusco. Uh, as you can see, I'm standing in front of one of the many, many churches that are actually surrounding the main plaza. And the funny thing is, uh, we learned yesterday on the walking tour uh, that this is a church, and actually on, the, on, on this side is actually a family church. Uh, it's huge, very, very massive. Uh, let me move this out the way a little bit, but um, you know, we got selfie sticks, you know, we gotta get them, them pictures with a gram. So yeah, matter of fact, hey boys and girls, let me take you on a journey. So that right there <laughs> is the family church on the side. Uh, it looks smaller, it looks like it's not that grand, but when you get inside, that joint is beautiful, like absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then like I said, you got the main cathedral right here. And like I said, I'll post all the names because I really don't remember. Because the tour was in Spanish and English, so we had to keep taking breaks between languages and it was kind of tough uh, to really hear everything. And it was such a large group. It was probably a group of 10 plus the, uh, plus the, um, the tour guide. So yeah, so I'm definitely gonna put the names right here. But if you pan over here a little bit, we have another church that we did not go see yesterday. So I'm definitely unfamiliar with it. But once again, it looks beautiful, right? Looks absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Uh, and this can, can you believe it? this is January? So if you coming from America like myself and uh, Brian, shoot, we dealing with winter, you know, everything else. Matter of fact, we just had a snowstorm a little while ago. So as you can see, the plaza is very lively with people, uh, pedestrians, uh, kids in the park enjoying the weather. Uh, you have people selling things. Uh, and then it's actually, since it's like a little courtyard, you have tons and tons of restaurants that you can choose from. And then obviously you got the outskirts of the community that has like the homes and stuff like that. So uh, the favela look, if you will. So it looks absolutely amazing. And like I said, what I really want to, I can't stress it enough, they're real 11,000 feet up in the air. So, all right, so like I said, this is the plaza, it's beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so we've been walking all day. So actually, we just came from that direction. Um, that's where the city central is at. And then if you come down the main avenue, uh, you are running to a, a market, right? So this market to the, to the right of me is literally like, I guess, the, one of the biggest markets they have in, in Cusco. So we're going to go over there in a couple minutes. But I definitely wanted to uh, show you guys the outside of it. Uh, you can't miss it because it's definitely... It's, oh, not definitely, I'm sorry. It's right in front of this really cool looking fountain with this uh, Peruvian artwork. So, I mean, I think it actually looks beautiful. Uh, I don't know if that's a jaguar or a panther or, I, I don't know, but it's beautiful. And like I said, right on the other side is the, um, is the actual fountains. So we gonna uh, go inside. So let's spend this solace. Let's spend this solace. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So we just got inside the uh, the, the market. All right. So this, like I said, it's supposed to be one of the best and the brightest and all that good jazz, right? So as you can see behind me, uh, this is kind of like the, the central part of the market. Um, shops all over the place. And I wanted to take you guys on a journey through the market. So let's go. So as you can see, they have jewelry. Um, they sell t-shirts, different little Machu Picchu uh, pendants, things of that nature. So um it's pretty much just gonna be selling purses oh we'll come back ma'am okay okay uh, all right i don't know what she's saying but uh <laughs> so 
Oh, they got like a little restaurant, little cafe type area that you guys can get some food to eat whenever you come down here. Uh, plenty of shops, like I said. I would advise everybody to haggle. So let's walk down this way, this long little corridor, and see the, you can see the different products that they offer. I normally get uh, shot glasses. Uh, that's what I like to collect. Hola. Buenas tardes. Hola. So they got some really nice stuff, as you can see. I mean, this is it's supposed to be all handcrafted, hand woven. Um, so definitely you don't want to stop at the first store that you see. Let's see what else we have. A lot of religious pieces. I guess you could buy the whole place up, you know, it's, it's, it's that much stuff. So, it look like they have massages here. So one of the things that we learned yesterday about the alpaca, um, so most of this stuff or all of the stuff is made out of alpaca, okay? But the thing that I did not know was that if you get the alpaca that's supposed to be shiny, that fur or that material came from the neck of the alpaca. And then they have, um, and the softer it is, I guess the, the younger the uh, alpaca is. So if it's real fluffy and just real nice and soft, just know that was a baby alpaca, okay? So let's walk this way a little bit. Okay, we'll come back, we'll come back. Okay. They're kind of ruthless around here. They out here, they out here in this market like Death Row Records where well, you're gonna get down and lay down. Uh, so yeah, this definitely is a cool market. And I'm, and I'm, one of the cool parts about this market is, is overhead. So I think this is like one of those markets that might be seven days um seven days a week i'm not sure on the time i'll definitely look that up and post that on the um video but if you saw my ecuador videos of uh Atelgo, uh market that that was a completely outside uh, market and that was all pretty much like locals coming now to sell their material so what do you guys think of the market is this something that you guys might be interested in you know, buying your souvenirs? Because you definitely want to make sure that you go somewhere that has official souvenirs and things of that nature. You don't want the, the fake knockoff Chinese uh, stuff. So that's very important. So that's the reason why we came to this market because it's the one that had um, the highest rating and that even a tour guide had mentioned it uh, yesterday. So I definitely wanted to show you guys, okay? So uh, we're gonna actually walk around a little bit more, but um, as we walk around, we're gonna be buying different pieces and just enjoying ourselves, okay? Peace.